Okay, this is a quick video on how to set up your R4, and yeah, here's it. So this is the R4 box, R4, yeah, R4, and um, this is gonna cost you about thirty to forty dollars if you buy it from eBay or Craigslist. I recommend Craigslist because it's much faster to get. <coughs> yeah, sorry, excuse me about that. And you should know that the R4 does not come with the little chip to store all your memory. So you gotta buy that separately. This 4 gig is around seven dollars, not expensive. You can get it at Fry's Electronics if you're in the California area or something. And <coughs> of course you should know you need the DS. Yes, I don't have the new light. I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> so yeah. Just that these three things. Okay. So hold on. So <coughs> your R4 sorry. Your R4 <coughs> sorry about that. Should come with this stuff. The the micro S N D USB 2.0 well, I'm not sure what version my R4 is. Sorry. Should come with the case. Mm, hold on. Hold on. Okay. And the actual <coughs> cartridge. <coughs> so this is the cartridge. And if you can, as you can see, it's exactly the same as a regular DS game size. Yeah. Uh, right here. See, look. Okay. <coughs> so, this is what you have to do. <coughs> um, take the CD. Pop it into your <coughs> CD drive. I don't have the original CD. I don't know where it went. And uh, let's take a look at the screen now. Oh yeah, and I uh, forgot to mention. So, okay, you take the micro SND USB 2.0, and you take this SND card. You don't really need that. That just came with it. So. The R4 I got supports uh, 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, and 32 gigabytes of memory for the SMB. And uh, I'm using a Kingston USB. Yeah, Kingston. So you take that, you just stick it in there. Like, yeah. Sorry, the camera sucks. Yeah. Then uh, you take off the cap. This is your USB. And you just Stick it into your USB drive. And I know you guys can't see it, but there should be an orange light on the USB. Uh, okay, let's look at the screen. Okay, on your screen should be one for your memory card, so the micro SND, the little card you chip you put in, this is the one. And then one for your CD. Yeah. Your R4 should come with the CD. Sorry, my brother's talking in the background. Uh, so both of them just go on. Both for both of the uh, things, just click open folder. Then just click OK. So uh, I already have everything downloaded into my R4, but I'm gonna tell you what to do. You basically go to your. Uh, Oh yeah, your card, your memory card should be empty, or it's not gonna work properly. So you basically highlight everything, and then just drag it over to your memory card. Yeah, just drag and drop. Simple, right? Then just no, you miss that. Then you just go here. You wanna make so you just right click and go to new, and then go to new folder. I already have it, so I'm not gonna do it new folder and then just name it games capital G or whatever but it has to be games right then uh, 
and then that should be it and then uh just double click in your game files and then I already have a whole bunch of games but I'll tell you what to do oh and I'll post a couple of the websites that I downloaded from on the side so all my games are so I just save all game in one folder like that so just big random one right just drag it over and then just copies and you're done so at first I dragged a the Mario, new Mario Super Bowl or something like that I forgot but let's take a look at it uh, oops sorry about that so these are all my speakers okay so we got this so just yank just take this memory card back out so you take your R4, the actual cartridge, flip it over. There should be like a little hole right here. And then you just stick your memory card in. Make sure it's all the way in so it can read the info. So it should be flat right now. And, uh, and now just take your DS and you know, just stick it in. It should click, you should hear a clicking noise. I'm not sure if you can hear it from the camera. It should click just like a regular one. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, my DS is almost out of battery. Oh, yes. So, it should just load right away. And as you, ah, uh, sh sorry about that. So you can see there's three options. This one, it's for the actual R4 DS games. This one is for your music. And this one is for playing your GBA. But I don't have one in right now, so I can't use that. So I'm just going to test it out. Oh yeah, just go to your folder, click, direction, click A or just touch it. So once you touch it, all your games should show up on your front screen. Oh, you can't see it, but yeah, just touch directory and all your games will show up. So I'm going to go to Mario, New Super Mario Bros. Okay, that's what I download. Then it should load like that. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Just like any other DS game. So just to show you guys how it works. And there you go. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to use the action replay feature on the R4. Yeah, did you guys didn't know that, huh? Alright, let's take a... So, I'm not going to show you guys this, but I'm just going to tell you. Just stick the chip from your R4 back into the computer USB cable. Alright? So, let's take a look at the screen again. The computer screen.